Neuro-linguistic programming has proved a successful technique to turn around people's lives in a positive way. One area where it has shown astonishing results is in dealing with phobias. I can have a whole evening ruined by seeing a spider, um, as if some, like, someone had come in to mug me or something. You know, the heartbeat. And I don't want that anymore. Today, the co-founder of NLP, Richard Bandler, is holding a seminar for people with all sorts of phobias. Some of these have been paralyzed with fear all of their lives. But now, all of that is about to change. Good morning. Guess what today is? <laughs> phobia day, which is badly named. It's not a day to acquire phobias, but if you want one, I could probably do that too. Neurolinguistic programming is the name that I gave to all the techniques I developed, which were really studying successful behaviors. Rather than studying people with fears to find out how they got them, I found people who had gotten over them quickly, learned what they did mentally to learn the formulas by which uh, you think your way out of problems. I just get really anxious. Fear, it's fear. I had really bad panic attacks. I know if I can get rid of my fear of spiders, I could conquer anything else. Now, I want you to sit there calmly, and I want you to run the whole memory forward so that you see yourself jumping around, being afraid of the spider, sitting here, being disgusted, looking at yourself, being afraid of the spider, and I want you to kind of sit in the balcony and watch the two of you calmly as you go through this memory. Mm -hmm. Now, once you get to the end, I want you to slip now back into your body, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump to the end of the memory, mm -hmm. okay? And I want you to step inside the memory, and I want you to run it backwards so that the spider moves backwards until the spider is gone. I just want you to have a nice good look and look really close. Take a deep breath, right? Put your finger up there. Don't you want to be the girl that can put her finger up there? Cool, huh? Even the idea that there might be a spider was more than she could bear, let alone. So the idea that she could put her finger right next to one and be calm was incomprehensible. When you run an old scared memory backwards, it flattens out the neurons, because be it ever so microscopic, those neurocortical pathways know how to go to the right one by size. Billions of them woven together, and that one fear one fires off because it goes up by size from a chemical charge. You run the memory backwards, it flattens it out. Then all you need to do is to replace it, because here's the trick to personal change. You create a void and fill it with something better then it doesn't go back to what it was. All three of these people believed that, that never could they do something. In fact, they didn't even consider being able to do it. But what's important is to know that you're wrong about yourself. That when you think that you're not the kind of person that could be happy, you're not the kind of person that could be in love, you're not the kind of person that could be creative, you're not the kind of person that could be successful, you're not the kind of person that could have a good marriage, you're not gonna be a good mother. The list goes on and on and on. But the minute you do one thing that proves you're dead wrong about yourself, not only does she not have to be afraid of spiders, she can consider all these other possibilities. I think I'm just amazed. Because I think if you're gonna hold a spider, hold a big one. Because if it wasn't comfortable, would it move off? Oh yeah, very much so. So she likes me. Yeah. There you go. It's Job done. Wow. I'm free to go improve and live my life now. I don't cure anybody because I don't think they're sick. Somebody learned to be afraid, it just means they're dependable. All I have to do is get them to be dependable in a new way. I'm a teacher. This is all about education. This is about learning to use your neurology so that you can consciously and unconsciously do what you want to do. Somebody comes to a practitioner seminar, what they do is they learn to have control of their thought processes. You change the way you think, it changes the way you feel, changes what you can do. And I've been at this for 40 years and I've watched people change their lives in ways most people would never believe.